Iran and its proxies are planning a coordinated large-scale attack on Israel. According to reports, the attack would be conducted on Tisha B'Av, the day of the Jewish calendar. It falls on the ninth day of the month of Av this year, on the 12th of August and the 13th. Israel is undeterred. The Israeli Defense Forces have cleared that it will go far to strike anyone that attacks its territory. The United States is making arrangements to send backup warplanes to help Tel Aviv defend itself from a possible missile or drone attack and to deal with any major escalations. This after U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin held a telephonic conversation with his Israeli counterpart Yoav Galan. Secretary Austin spoke with Israeli Minister of Defense Galant this morning about the destabilizing threats posed by Iran, its partners and proxies. The secretary reiterated ironclad support for Israel's security and informed the minister of additional measures to include ongoing and future defensive force posture changes that the department will take to support the defense of Israel. Lebanese media reported fresh Israeli strikes on the Lebanon-Syria border near the Syrian village of Harsh al Said Ali. Amid the growing escalation in the region, airlines including Air India are avoiding Iranian and Lebanese airspace and cancelling flights to Israel and Lebanon. Meanwhile, efforts continue for a Gaza ceasefire and hostage release deal. Israel has said that it is negotiating. Its negotiating team will travel to Cairo today or tomorrow. Hamas has labelled it as an empty statement. Senior member of the Palestinian group Sami Abu Zuri has said, and I'm quoting here, Netanyahu does not want to stop the war and is using these empty statements to cover up his crimes and evade their consequences. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.